Hey, let's talk about something that half the population will go through, but so many of us know so little about menopause. And no, it's not just one single event. It's actually a journey with five distinct stages. Knowing what they are can make the whole process a lot less confusing and a lot more empowering. So let's break it down. Stage one is premenopause. This is basically your entire reproductive life before any menopausal changes begin. Think from your first period all the way through your 30s and into your early 40s. Your menstrual cycles are regular, and your hormones like estrogen and progesterone are humming along, supporting your fertility and overall health. For most of us, this is just life as we know it. Then comes stage two, perimenopause. This is where things start to get interesting. It's the transition phase, and it can start years before your final period. Your ovaries start to wind down, and your estrogen levels begin to fluctuate like a roller coaster. You'll have unpredictable spikes and dips. This is what causes those classic symptoms. Your periods might become irregular, longer, shorter, heavier, lighter. You might start experiencing hot flashes, night sweats, sudden mood swings, or that frustrating brain fog where you can't remember why you walked into a room. This stage can last anywhere from a few years to a decade. It's a wild ride, but you're not alone in it. Stage three is menopause in itself. This is a very specific point in time. A doctor will officially diagnose you with menopause once you've gone 12 consecutive months without a menstrual period. This marks the end of your reproductive years. At this point, your estrogen and progesterone levels have dropped significantly and stay consistently low. This is when symptoms like vaginal dryness, sleep problems, and changes in your libido often become more noticeable. The average age for menopause is around 51, but it can happen earlier or later. Next up, stage four, early postmenopause. This covers the first five years after that 12-month mark. While some of the more disruptive symptoms like hot flashes might start to ease up, this is a critical time for your long-term health. The loss of estrogen starts to have a deeper impact. Your bone density can begin to decrease more rapidly, increasing the risk for osteoporosis. Your cardiovascular health also needs attention, as estrogen plays a protective role for your heart and blood vessels. This is the time to get serious about things like calcium, vitamin D, and weight-bearing exercise. Finally, we have stage five, late postmenopause. This is the period more than five years after your final period, and it lasts for the rest of your life. By now, your body has adjusted to its new normal of low estrogen, and many of the earlier symptoms have stabilized or disappeared. The focus now shifts from managing symptoms to long-term preventive care. It's all about maintaining your bone health, protecting your heart, and focusing on overall wellness to live a long, vibrant, and healthy life. So there you have it, the five stages. It's not just an on-off switch, it's a gradual transition. Understanding this journey can help you navigate the